A wild chorus. The birth of a monster. Today's tale sees us playing abandoned ship. And we are witnessing the birth of a kraken. Let's continue. Good old ugly ass kraken. Look at everyone just chilling. I'm not sure I'd be chilling with a kraken just sitting there, right? I'd be like, mmm. Maybe on land, but that tentacle just looks like it does go, go. And just suck up all these people, right? In that moment, a final strand has cut a burst of clarity. We're coming to. We see this crack in front of us and we're like, Dear God, I think I need to get out of here. Let me go. Tentacles flail wildly in the water. People drop to their knees. Some through fear, others with adulation. Their God is manifest. Hmm. We're surrounded by some bodyguards on our little private balcony here and we're going to strike them down and flee. Get what for, lads? Instinctively grabbing something, you smash it down on the head of the first guard. The other one's like, what the? What's going on here? Surprise attack. You hit the other one. Hmm. Time to get out of here towards the cells. I don't know if I want to flee towards the cells, but that's where we're going. Straight into the prison. Ah, escaping alone would be futile. Grab the keys and approach the prisoners. So I've played a couple of these um, intros here. And I fairly much know who I want here. I definitely want a gunner. Just to help us reload our weapons a little bit quicker. Definitely want a marine. I want somebody who's combat capable. And I'll probably... <laughs> get uh, Roman, aka Oldie here. As well. The, uh, the surgeon. Sometimes I like to pick up the sailor, but I think the surgeon's going to work out a lot better for me. Although he can heal, it's not really what I'm interested in. I'm just interested in the fact that um, he has that extra skill over the top of everyone else. Whereas if you pick up something like the sailor, I mean, he's only good at repairing your ship. Maybe at some other point that'll be come in handy, but at the moment, I'd rather somebody can sort of get people up and get them sorted, right? And we're out of here. We've got our three lads. And we're busting... Out the door. Burst through the door. Oh, it's bright. It's bright outside. You look down the path and we see a ship. Alright, Colt. It's time to get ourselves a ship. So these are our four lads and this is our new ride. So we're going to get everybody aboard. We need to start cutting some ropes here to get away. Uh, but we will need to organize our crew just a little bit better here. Uh, do you want to get on this lad? Come on. Uh... You, sir, and you, sir. Take these. And we'll scarper for it. I have left the tutorials on here. I did not mean to leave them on, but we'll take it. Captain, he's going to grab the wheel. He's going to get us out of here. Get us out of here, Captain. Dozens of furious coldest charge. They'll be sending a ship after us. Let's get out of here. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to get bombarded here, though. Mortar shells incoming, sir. Roger that. Roger that. Run away! Oh my god, we just took a bunch to the face. So when a crew member hits the dirt right, he is going to want to uh, get up and get going. We're going to need to stabilize him. Good thing we've got ourselves a surgeon. Anyone can actually do this. It doesn't have to be the surgeon here. We'll get some, uh, we'll get some man uh, getting himself a little bit of health as well. So we've got our health bar down here for the ship. When it dies, obviously we die. Um, down here is the different sections of our ship. So we have things like our cannons, we've got the mast, we've got more cannons, and we've got the surgeon over here. Uh, whether whether it works or not is a different matter, right? So we'll get on this. Uh, we'll get the dock. Dock, repair the mast, lad. We need to skedaddle. Everyone's going to get a little bit of... Uh, training out of this hopefully do you want to hop on this as well my friend you know just quickly everybody get that stuff going can we maybe heal up some of our oh dude you just what did you do just stab yourself in the leg all right we're gonna get him healed again he's like i wasn't keen on that stab action and this man's just writhing on the ground in pain he's like it hurts it hurts somebody get me up Take cover! Run! No! Boom! Alright. So, cracks in the hull. 
just mean we're going to start taking on water. And uh, as soon as the uh, water reaches the top, we either sink or uh, we start getting water off us. All right. Or you may sink. So we better get some lads on these. We'll get the captain off the uh, wheel here. He's not required to drive the ship. He is just required to uh, just stare on, right? Wait, wait, wait. Captain's going to pump. Pump. Captain, pump. Good old captain pumping away there. Uh, this lad needs to get off the ground. He will get off the ground as soon as we... Uh... Ooh, another barrage incoming. Oh my god! We're getting bombed! Alright, this one's going to be the fire here. So fire obviously uh, damages our sections. And it also... Uh... So by section it just means it'll damage things like uh, the steering or the cannons. And if it lands on crew, crew take an incredible amount of damage from fire. It is amazing. I actually think fire should do a little bit of hull damage as well, but... I guess status damage, right? We're out of range, but stay alert, man. Stay alert. And we are out of here. We're booking it away from these cultists. Nasty-ass cultists. Get out of here. Alright, we need to, uh... We need to start exploring. Well, let's get out of here. So the map basically looks like, um... Looks like a big picture board, right? It looks really beautiful, though. Uh, this is our exits here, here, and here. These exits are locked between behind tasks. Uh, so we need to get down to that gate. We'll hop back down here. It's going to tell us that we're going to need to do ship view as well in a second. Would be my guess. But we're going to explore this map first. The reason we're going to do this is because there should be a couple of barrels of just money floating around here. I think there's about... Last map time I tried this, there was three. I've had somewhere there's only one. The maps are kind of randomly generated. So I'm not sure if there's always going to be three. Um, you do have to do a little bit of exploration here before you leave. The more money you have, the, w the better it is for you. Uh, you're going to do about two more maps here. And then on the third map, you'll be able to buy some upgrades for your ship. And you'll be able to excite your crew a little and all that good stuff. But every ounce, like the first few playthroughs, I was really lazy. And I just went, no, 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 I've got one barrel. I'm out of here, right? Difference between 20 gold and 60 gold. 60 gold will get you something for your ship. 20 gold will get you a bunch of supplies. And supplies you need... What do you need? You need... Between each map... You need about 25 supplies to travel. And uh, you'll get nowhere with just 20 gold for that. 20 gold will get you 10 if you're lucky. Alright, so we're going to just travel around. I do love this map. I mean, look at how much has gone into this. The gate is locked. Alright, uh, so normally these will have numbers on them. Oh, that's generally the last one. There's only normally three. Normally these will have numbers on them telling you what you need to do to get out of here. But for now, we're just going to run up to this and we are going to get attacked by some cultists. So we're going to pause here. Um, we need to man some weapons. I'm going to actually board this guy. It's going to be like, yo, you need to man these weapons, but I do not really want to man them. I want to man this thing up here. If you want to let me, please, sir. Oh, come on tutorial so we need to start picking some places to shoot I normally shoot the front keeps the AI a bit distracted and uh, I'd shoot in the middle just keep them repairing different things it's always nice we do have to wait for our little indicator here as soon as it hits the full marker here cannonballs away alright we can pause through the space far which is always nice uh, yeah, don't spiral out of control, right? Specialties obviously do different things. If we mouse over them, we can see what they're good at. Uh, we can pause up here as well. Thanks for telling me that. I would like to man this thing, baby. And we can close some distance. I want to board. It's a lot easier to just board them than just tanking it out. You do a chunk of damage. 
Uh, we will man this baby here. We'll start damaging this. We should get the option to ram them soon. And do some major work. You can see we've done a few hull cracks over here. It's kind of hard to see, but keeps them distracted. Keeps them from firing these cannons at us steadily. And we're going to put some rounds into... Come on. Put the rounds into that mast. You can see we're doing damage over here to their modules of their ship. I don't actually have that many modules, but uh, we'll hopefully gouge them out a bit. We're closing in. We're going to get our medic over on... Ooh, we don't need our medic. I'd say we're going to be into ramming distance soon. So we're just going to gun these men down. We do have to repair it up first. Apparently it took a few to the face. While we repair, we should be able to get all three of these guys. That would be a lovely shot. Ah, oh, we're not loaded. <laughs> Too keen! Fire! I can't fire, sir. Fire now! Come here. Yo, give it to him. Alright. Get it to them, baby. And now we're charging up. So each time someone is manning this wheel, you do slowly charge up the spar and you get into range to just ram things. I assume it's going to tell us to ram them in a sec. And brace up. We will give these guys a whole lot more trouble for their worth. They are pretty much already dead. As you ram, you have to brace up here. It normally doesn't pause for you. But uh, on the tutorial, it does. And in we go, boys. Ram in action, sir. We're going to... Uh, Try and jump over this. If you fail your brace test, you go in the water. You can go in the water. So we can either pull back or we can just jump aboard, which is exactly what we'll do. If you don't do this quick enough, um, the ships break apart and you can no longer board. So our captain's actually by himself. This man is trying to winch in somebody. That's not happening, lad. He is. Captain's drowning back there stuffed. Yeah, you got the winch. But there he goes. He's out of here. Alright. Tougher fights next time. Indeed. Indeed. It will get a little tougher. Alright. So we don't need to repair. It, worry about repairing different sections of our boat or healing up our crew in between missions. The only thing that follows over is this damage to your hull. So each time you do these missions, your hull just keeps getting worn down, right? Now here we have a couple of things. So we've got our gold up here, and we've got our uh, food supplies. Each time you travel between these areas, it costs you food supplies. So you can see down in the bottom, I don't know if I can mouse down to that, but you'll see the 25 fish at the bottom. That's what it costs us to move between zones. Later on, you do get the uh, fast travel option to... Uh, travel for 50. You don't have to travel between zones on the fast travel option though. You can obviously travel the whole map. Uh, we'll examine ourselves in the mirror. It's time to sort ourselves out. We are not the severed one. We are Mr. Anaro. Anaro. And uh, that'll do us. I mean, that's pretty much my, my skin color, right? Pasty white. And in fact, it needs to be another one over here. A bit, bit more pastier. You know, live in Australia. Don't see the sun. Sure. In fact, that, that's a bright sun right out there. You reemerge on your deck. The crew snapped to attention. Sir! We may have escaped, lads, but we are not safe yet. Hmm. We have to make it to port. It's me thereafter. You guys are screwed. Because this big ass monster is after you. Still loved and always in his thoughts. You were the first. But he knew something had changed, so we got uh, pretty much sidelined here. We're just a, uh, we were just an icon. Of raw power. Raw sea captain power. He didn't care. Something in you was graining strength. Alright. Hopefully it's not the tentacle monster, right? So you get between map to map, right? And each you kinda get quests. Uh, you can get multiple quests later on. You you generally get one quest each time for most of the story for about an hour or two, and then later on you start to get multiple quests to do. Strand on the deck. The fortress is far from us. We have much to do. Alright, so we've got a couple of options here. We do have the option to zoom out, but we can actually zoom in on our ship and we can sort out positions on our ships. Um, uh huh, this will let us sort out things. So we kind of want to sit at this range here. So you can. This is close. This is far, right? I mean, sorry. 
This is far, this is close. Uh, we want probably this guy to go up here. Most ships I want to board. So we're going to sort our lads out like this. And that should do us. So each time we go into combat now, the lads should start in these positions here. Mm -hmm. And we can also rotate our ship. So obviously um, we can start battle like this or we can start battle like this. I, I don't mind this side. You never start with cannons loaded, even though they look like they're loaded here. Uh, every time you hop out, they just get unloaded. So we got to keep going here. It's a good idea to generally explore most of your maps, because there will be floating barrels around on most of them, um, to give you a bit of gold. Sometimes there's things like fish and so on. Generally, between uh, battles, you need a lot of food here. So we've got our first little coldest here. We're going to give him a little explore. Give him a poke. What does he want? Hmm can't afford to let them live in Shatter Tower. Chase them down, lads. Chase them down. Alright, so we're going to pause up here. Normally, I would like to board ships. If you see crazy stuff like this on the side of the ship, it means it's generally got things like spikes. Ramming, not a good idea on a spiky ship. So we're going to get Mr. Cannonballs down here. He's going to come on down. We're just going to destroy sections of this guy and put him in the water. I don't really want to close in on him at all. Uh, just because I don't want those spikes doing a train load of damage to us. We'll just have to chew these guys down. If you do board them, you tend to get a bit more money. You can get things like supplies and stuff out of them. So anytime we see that, we kind of want to be going for it. In fact, Captain, they shouldn't be there. They're actually trying to swing away from us. So we're fine to swing out to max range here. Uh... Different cannibals mean different things. This cannon ball here, I can't remember off the top of my head. We put a hole in them, so this man here is getting a little distracted. Doesn't look like the worst of the cannibals. There are some that do more damage further out. Uh, they are called the lobbers or something. And they come on down and they do a truckload of damage to hull. So you got to be careful every now and then. They are bleeding a little into water. The further out you get from a ship as well, you can't really see what's going on all that well. Unless you've got an upgraded crow's nest. And we do not. Ooh. Uh, Captain, you want to get on that for me, lad? Just don't want to let it leak too much. He's going to get the old repair job down. He's like, this isn't a captain's job. Sir, this is your job indeed. You need to keep this boat ship shape, lad. Ship shape. We could pump some water as well. I don't feel too bad about the uh, how much water we've taken on, unless suddenly we get a bunch more damage. Jesus, we put that cannibal right in the water there. My ship's taking a bit of damage to everything else. I mean, we don't really need the sick bay at the moment. We don't need things like uh, the mast and stuff, because we're just, we're just jamming rounds with this guy, right? We're just jamming him till he dies. And the sick bay has gone. As soon as it gets red, it's done. There's no, there's no getting back from red. Hopefully, two shots hit here, and we just need one shot from here, and this guy is done. Boom! Don't fire back, lads. We're actually taking a lot of damage. All things considered, doing the tutorial. If you don't do the tutorial, you'll take less damage. You actually take more tutorial doing the damage. Uh, take more damage doing the tutorial. Jesus. And we got our 20 gold. If you so my theory is if you sink them, you get uh, get way less gold since it's just you scavenging what's floating, right? Whereas if you board them, you get a chance to uh, get that food, get whatever goods they have. So I'm going to just travel around here. Ah, so I should speak about the gates. So each gate is kind of locked behind um, a couple of tasks, right? And the tasks are just literally what's in the sea. So here we just have to find four of these cultist ships for the first mission. And then we can skedaddle out of this map. Hopefully find ourselves a port in the next map. And by hopefully, I mean we definitely do. You sir, what are you doing here? Mm-hmm. Uh, at the start of the game, there's no real revealing of your location and stuff. But later on, it does become a bit of a thing. Where you have to keep an eye on how many people you let go. But at the start, I just like to attack everyone. I do want a lot of gold. 
Uh, so we will have a go at these guys. And the other thing I do want is supplies, right? So we're gonna man this one here. This guy's got no spikes on him, so we're gonna give this guy a what for. We probably won't close distance just yet, because uh, they are a little bit quicker than us. But as soon as we put a few sh chain shots in here, we will close the distance. We'll get into ramming distance. Um, we need to tell these guns to fire somewhere. And she'll probably just... Okay, we don't want you. Uh, he can't quite fire, so I'll pause this. If you hover over a gun, you can see over here there's a couple of symbols, and it shows you what range they can fire in. So cannons can fire in everything, chain shot can fire in everything, and you've got some that are limited to close, um, some that are limited to a long range. One more shot into this guy will get us close enough though. We'll wreck his sails. Here's ripping it up. Uh, but it won't be enough to keep them out of range here. We'll start shooting this man. There we go. We'll just soften him up before we get into ram range here. As soon as this bar fills up, we will ram these guys. Off we go. So you can see over here, it'll brace up. What we want is to move some of our lads here so that we're ready to jump. And we will get overboard. We'll probably jump on this guy and jump on this man. So our lads should jump off this boat. If you don't jump off quick enough, uh, life is a little tricky because your lads just get stuck on this boat when it drifts apart. But we've got this fight pretty much in the bag. You can see our health down here, but I mean, their captain's all that's left, right? He's getting manhandled. We should get a little bit more gold from this and food. So we didn't get any more gold, but we did get food. And food's worth a fair bit. This food's worth about 20 gold. So we'll take that. We took a little bit of damage in that exchange, but it's not too bad. Especially for the uh, the food. Your lads are also getting experience from everything. So this guy here, he hasn't done any healing really, but his melee skills going up. You can see their current experience, 20. Next is 200. I mean, this guy hopefully is leveling up fairly quick. If we look at the captain. Captain, he's nearly there. He's nearly there. We'll get him... Um, ship shape and we're ready to massacre people we'll have a bit of a stroll around the map see what we got hopefully we find a few more barrels i'd love to go into the next uh, mission with a little bit more well the next map with a little bit more f money here money's fairly important for things like your upgrades and stuff Ooh, ships of the line peels off to investigate all right we are uh, we are out of here. Hey, <laughs> he came over to give us a bit of a... You drop to your knees. Here's a lightning inside your skull. It's approaching fast. It should be a Kraken running in on us anytime soon. There he comes. Look at this. Mr. Kraken, leave me alone. I don't like it. Ah! And he is on top of us. The old first Kraken fight. Right, you're not prepared to fight such a beast. Fight it off and flee. So the way we're going to have to do this is we actually have a flea button down here. He's going to have a few goes at us. We're going to rearrange our guys here. He's going to actually stab our, uh, our ship a little. Here he comes. Release the Kraken. Boom. So we kind of just want to stab this off us as quick as we can. So that the old captain here can do a bit of work. As soon as these sever off, uh, we can hope to flee, but we do have to wait for this to fill up. If you don't get these off you quick enough, he does a secondary attack and does more damage to your hull. Which is not nice for your ship, right? Your ship doesn't enjoy getting stabbed by the old Kraken. Later on we get to deal with this guy though. Give him the old mortar shell to the face. Alright. I like to pause for the section every time it stabs in. Just so that we can get this stuff down and out. Get these three off. Get off my boat, sir. And flee. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Flee, lads. So you also have to fill up this bar so he will get us once more. Because uh, we are not the fastest in fleeing. I don't know. If I was the captain, I would just be mashing that uh, turbo button right now. I'd be hitting it. I'd be going, guys, guys. It's the Kraken. It's the Kraken. I mean, that ship's a little rinky-dink. He's taking a few hits here and there. I love how this guy just sort of just chills while getting stabbed. 
These tentacles are a little far away, but let's get them off. Get off my boat. Oh, ooh. Okay, we're lucky there. Yes, yes. Thanks, tutorial. I know I can flee here. This one we should get out of. We have plenty of uh, speed built up now, and we are going to just turbo on out. He's like, I'm coming, but nope. He's gone. We wounded it, and we are out. We are out. That thing does hunt us relentlessly, though. It's, uh, uh, it's a little peed at us for fleeing, I think. I mean, we were the loved one. Down here, you can see an indicator. We just need one more of these. I'm pretty sure this mission here, there's going to be two cult ships. Cultist ships. Mm. Looks like they haven't seen you. You know what? Can't risk them sp having spotted us. Attack. Attack. Alright. They are preparing for battle. They're coming in at us. Ah, yes. Alright, cool. So this is another one where we can just... He is coming in close, actually. Uh... Okay, he's maintaining that range. I was going to say, if he comes in a little bit closer, we will just happily uh, blast away at this guy. We just have to shred a little bit more of his uh, sail and we're in. You can only ram from in this section here. Any other section you can't ram in. Uh, we'll just keep just eating away at the center section here. Just keep uh, the repair jobs going. We'll get his sail down. Once it's in that green, he is 50% down. Uh, sorry, once it's in the yellow, he's 50% down. He's going to try and repair it up, but we're closing the distance. We're going to get the healer over here. Probably give him one shot before we have enough to ram. Uh, we're not even going to get that close. We will ram. Brace. We'll brace for impact. We will get our lads ready to go. Crunch. Uh, everybody overboard. If you don't... I tend to find I like to pause here, because otherwise this happens, right? And suddenly your ship's... A million miles away. We're going to move Mr. Cannibals out. Yo, yo, leave Mr. Cannibals alone. He is not keen on this. Uh, we'll heal you up. I love a bit of, uh, love a bit of healing while we're fighting. We'll take out their healer and we will be done. Be done. I find it's a good idea to fairly much engage every ship as a capture. Just to get those extra bit of money out, right? Because every ounce... I mean... It's not bad, right? We're not we're not taking a truckload of damage. Now there is one good thing about doing the tutorial as your beginning mission. You do have to put up with the tutorial, but we will get a free repair. So hopefully if we have enough money here, we should be able to afford some real nice goodies for our ship. I definitely would like some more crew. Fine crew tend to be fairly important. Just having enough people to outnumber the bad guys. Especially later on, you get boarded quite a lot. And uh, you really want to just outnumber the damn squidmen that attack you. Old Squidly. Uh, we're going to have a check out. Have I covered most of this map? It looks like it. So we're just going to head towards the exit here. Exit. Stage left. And on to the port we go. Escape, lads. Escape. I love this little bridge work thing they've done as well. So once again, we're going to travel here. You'll see that it cost me another 25. Every one you travel directly from costs you 25, right? Now the danger has passed. They bombard us with questions. Who are you? Well, my name's Anaro. And uh, I cult worship that creature. It's part of what they call the Great Project. Now, leave me alone, people. It's time to get out of here. It's time to flee this area and get things done. The dull ache in your head recedes slightly and you realize you can't remember a time without it. Yeah, I don't need these headaches. No headaches required. Skedaddle. Alright, there's a port nearby. So the first time I did this, I, um, I actually lost my ship before I even got to the port. It's a little embarrassing. Uh, ports, they show up. You still have to clear all of this fog before you can find the ports. So we'll try and find ourselves our port here and get ourselves repaired up before we engage in any further shenanigans. I mean, we're, we're kind of halfway through our hull. It's not a big disaster being that far through our hull. 
It would be worse if we were in the red. And there is our port. Each map's obviously randomly generated, so you have... If you don't copy the same seed over, you have no idea what's going on. Once the ship is docked, the crew are seemingly reluctant to part ways. Guys, don't get all clingy with me. Let's drink another round. The drinks flow and the tensions ease. We managed to secure a cheap room. Plenty of beds upstairs, lads. We're all slipping together. Another round. Shanties and ballads are butchered. I was about to say, aren't shanties crappy houses? But then, yeah, I remembered. Shanties are indeed songs. I don't know about our ballad singing. Power ballads. Typical evening of Dockside Grog Hole. What are you calling a Grog Hole? Game of Blades? Woo! Ends with drawn blood. We're going to stab each other. Stab him, lads. Stab him. Helps himself. Ooh, man. Jesus, somebody just got ejected out the door. Another round? Oh, we just peed somewhere. For a second, I thought we were standing up on top of the table and peeing. The tavern is slowly leaking its patrons. That's all right. We, uh, we're good to drink. We're good to drink. Tavern is closed. More drink. Time. You have no way of telling how much. Passes your memory for the last. Who knows? It's a blur. All right, we stumble and we go to bed. Tentacles grasping from every angle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This ain't no hentai right here. Leave me alone with your tentacles. No escape. They protect your every movement. Hmm. Wrapping slowly around you, they pull you down. Down, down. Deeper down. Jolt awake! The rum, surely? No. Two shadows form, crossing across. Two arms, lads. Woo. Two corpses of Halipron. They are the, uh, they're like the prawn men of, uh, the sea. The damn prawn men of the sea. <sighs> Alright. The innkeeper is dead, poor guy. He just sold us a truckload, he was making mint. He just sold us a truckload of, uh, grog in his grog hole. In your cabin. <sighs> we discussed the Halipron. Fron? Halifron? Fron? Fron? I suppose it's a Fron. Alright. Ah, we have to strike a crippling bro blow. Bro, bro, blow. To the uh, cult there. Tell them what you know to kill the Kraken. Hey lads, that's a Kraken. Ooh, unseen preying on those who stray. Too close. Alone at night. Boys, I'm having some weird sort of hallucinations as well. Don't worry about it. This may be a suicide mission, lads. Join me. All right. We have to prepare our little ship here and get ready. The shop is where you can purchase new weapons and upgrades, obviously. This is our little boat here. This is our little supplies. I'm actually hmm, a little upset. It's nowhere near as much as I would like. To repair your hull. Luckily, we should get it for free here. Excellent. And since they did put damage into us for doing the tutorial. It wants us to buy a mortar. The mortars are quite nice because you can use them against the sea creatures. This mortar, it's not the best mortars. There is a couple more that I really like. We'll pick up that baby. We can sell some weapons. We don't really want to. It does want us to upgrade these. I really don't want to upgrade these. It's a bit of a waste of my money here. Um... But obviously, the more cannons you have, the more shots you fire, the more damage you do. Uh, you can upgrade either one of these. No matter how many people you stick on these, they'll still fire all three. So even if I put one man, he'll fire all three cannons. Lucky him. So we'll just take this cannon here. There's a couple of upgrades that I really like. This one over here, the hull armor, is one of the better ones. Uh, we can buy supplies. Every time you travel maps, you need your supplies. If you do not, people get... Uh, they get a little unhappy with you. If you travel without supplies, you can improve the performance of some sections. Yep. So I'll go over all this in a sec, because this is, uh... This is kind of annoying. This little tutorial here, but... So if you do things like, uh, your helm, obviously that little maneuver bar gets a little bit quicker. If you do things like your, um, sails, you can 
if you have obviously better speed than the enemy you can dictate distance uh the sick bait i'm never sure about the sick bait it feels like something you don't really use that much later on your men do take a bit of damage but if you've got things like the normal sick bait kind of does the job uh we can have a look at our ships here the cutter is the garbage one which is mostly what the ai uses at the beginning you can see it's only got one rack of cannons even though you can load you know five into there it's nowhere near as good as things like the schooner and the brig we're actually in a brig right now so the ship we have is the brig the only upgrade here is the sloop um which basically just provides a bit more health uh you get a few more cannons per side as well so instead of four instead of a maximum of three you can have four which is always nice you still get the same amount of uh, gear though so you still get this active upgrade slots uh, and so what we want to do is I'll probably pick up the Halama I really like the Halama um, obviously to get more health you've either got a choice of upgrading your ship for the total health or you can just come along and jam this Halama on for 10% um, which is beautiful right I will definitely take that we're gonna save a little bit of money here I would have preferred to had a bit more money but Unfortunately, we are dirt poor. I kind of would like harpoons and a lifeboat, but we'll just uh, dwell on that a little bit later. So we're going to hop out of here now that we've got our armor plating on. We don't really have any other upgrades that we can afford easily. We will get a little bit money, more money. You make your way to the dockside. There's a few coldest. We're like, nah, bro, you don't see us. You see nothing here nothing to see all right we're gonna hop along our crew are gonna turn up they're gonna be like captain you're a badass you've led us through all this here's some money i don't know where they got this money from i mean they were prisoners before right so where did they pull this money from all right so we agree to meet them back at the ship and it's time to get ourselves a, a new man so what we've got already is this kind of distribution here i actually know that it's better to take uh another one of these guys here unfortunately i mean we can't afford anything else the first time i played this i think i took a gunner but later on you'll see why it's better to have another melee expert here because we're going to be facing a lot of melee action a lot of melee action and we will return ourselves to port you leave towards the docks which are swarming the growing crowd dozens of ships flying the cultist insignia are approaching time to leave definitely time to leave so the ships seem to have the same idea they are making for it shot and steel lads let's go so our new man he's actually gonna man what do we got here yeah we do have a halopron over here we're actually gonna man this baby here uh, you sir make sure you just put some shots into here actually you know what I think we'll just put into the center here here probably man the uh, the old mortar might be able to lob a few rounds in before we go. They do have a medic, so it's not going to matter too much. I'd probably like to change this up a little. Put the gunner over on the mortar, because the mortar is a good bit of fun. For doing some serious work. Alright, lads. Give it to them. Their gunner, he's going to go over and repair the uh, sails there. We could do a bit of damage to some lads here. So we could drop it down on these guys. You can actually hit them with the mortar. And, uh, oop, the halopron's in. So these guys jump in the sea and they run towards you. The old aquatic monsters um, will come into the sea and we'll have to deal with that. We need to deal with this crack here. This man's going to jump up here. I'm going to need to get you, sir, to just back up a little. Captain, you're going to have to deal with this monster. Uh, get in there and help the man. Uh, are we not firing these? Oh, come on, boys. Fire the cannons. Uh, you lad, get back on that. Give them what for, give them what for. These things do explode as well. Uh, so you gotta watch them. If they go red and all funny, then they will explode. If they just look like uh, this black mist here, then you're fine. Put another round into the sail. Cripple them a bit. Hopefully we can get another round off with our mortar here before we have to ram a lamma ding dong them. Uh, how many can we get? We can get two. Sure, buddy take a bunch oh my god that's gonna come down on all of them 
Alright, hopefully we've done enough damage here to ram him. And we will brace, brace up for impact. impact. Brace for impact, lads. And everybody prep up. And get in here. Get him, boys. Get him. Everybody overboard. Everybody in. Captain's already taken a bit of damage, but we've got two. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where is Captain? Where you at, lad? Get out of there. Get out of there. So we're going to try and heal up the Captain because he is a bit of a combat monster. If you can keep him alive and going. Uh, the medic's trying his best to medic in all that mess. I can't quite tell who's doing what in this. Hopefully you are on top of that medic as well. Our medic has got the captain up and running. Do you want to help out our dude here? Uh, we are on to repairing him, and we've got the boat. It's ours, boys. It's ours. I'm pretty sure from this one you don't get anything. Um, yeah. So we're going to get out of here. We don't get any money from that, and the cultists have the port. And it's time to see... A bit of action right here. So now that uh, the cultists are onto us, they tend to track us down. Down here is a little bit of a bar that fills up. As soon as it gets to this thing in the middle, then they will come and uh, hunt you. For hunting, they will come. And with that, we'll take a break. Tune in next time for more adventures of Abandoned Ship. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. If you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button or leave me a comment on anything you want to see in the future.